Hello YouTube and welcome back to the uh, C Sharp tutorial series, so let's get started. So last episode we made this. This is a clicker game where you can start it and you have to click left and right and you have a certain amount of time, so it's how many clicks you can get in a certain amount of time. So this is alright, but let's extend it. So Cookie Clicker was a game that was very fancy back in the day, so um, you know, let's extend this to become Cookie Clicker. So, we're going to create a new project, a new project, Windows Form app again, uh, Cookie Clicker, and this is what we've got. This is it's actually quite interesting because back in the back in the day, back in the day, I don't remember what year. I think it was like 2017, so about two years ago. Um, I created this, which is a write-up of how I achieved. Um, the code of this cookie clicker. Now this was very very inefficient so in this episode I'll be teaching you the way I did it and then the way to actually do it properly. So you can see you have points and it's not very visually appealing but this is what we're going to be making. So what do we want? We need a... Uh, this time is rather than using a text box I'm going to use a label because I can. And I'm going to set this label to zero. I was going to say zero points. Let's make it really big. So what we can do is we can go font here, and I like to use Open Sans. Open Sans, extra bold. And we want it really big. Zero points like that. Then we're going to have a click button here, and again we want to change this to. We're going to make all of this look beautiful this time round. So we want it 12, just regular. And this will be our button click. Okay, so that's our one. Then, so now we're going to create a group box. So this group box is just going to keep it all in one place. All of our buttons, like in Cookie Clicker, there was clicker. Grandma, you know, that sort of stuff. So if I just rename this group box one, really doesn't matter what it's called. Let's just call this um, by group. You can see here it looks like separated, so that's what we want. And open sands as usual. And then let's create some new buttons. So let's go. So this is going to be button, I don't remember how many points it was. So I started with 50, 100, 250 and 1000 points. So let's go button 50, 50p. And it's going to be 50 points. And we need four of these. So as you can see, 50 points, 100 points, 250, and 1,000. And let's just resize this. So again, right now this doesn't do anything. It literally does nothing. It's just a fancy dialogue. Um, so let's just change our settings to make it look even more fancy. So everything I've just done was covered in the previous episodes, I've just made it look a bit more fancy, so did the title, made it so you can't resize it, that's all I did. So next we want to create a timer, timer, fancy, we did this last episode, so timer and we want an interval of the highest number. Now what I did originally in my original prototype was I had four timers four times like this, but that's extremely inefficient because you're using four times the amount of cycles on your you know, processor to achieve the same result. So we're, this time round we're going to have timer 1 and we want to set this to our most expensive 
one here. So every, let's say, quarter of a second, actually, let's say, every tenth of a second, every twentieth of a second, this one will give you. So let's create a notepad document so we can remember this because I will forget. So 1,000 points will get you 1 twentieth. 250 points will get you a point every fifth of the time. 100 is every... So that's 1 twentieth of a second, 1 fifth of a second, um, half of a second, and every second. So, so let's start with the easy thing here. So every single time we click our button, we want to increase the points timer. So let's create a integer that is called um, points. Let's call this player points. Player points equals zero. Every single type of click, we want to add one to it. Then our points label, so this label one, let's call this label points. So every single time we click this button, we want to add to the points. So we want the player points one, and then our label, label points dot text equals player points dot to string. And then we want to plus onto that space points. So now, if we click on that, we increase the amount of points. Ah, uh, did I make that too big? Ah, uh, that's better. That's better. So when we click on this button, we want to buy one of these 50 points um, that give you a point every second. So let's click on that. And we need to create an integer that tells us how many of each one we own. So this is going to be called um, auto clickers. And we want int, we want to create an int and let's call this underscore 50p amount. And we own zero of those. So 100, 250, 1000. So if we click on that button, if our player points is bigger than 50, bigger or equal to 50, then we want to go player points minus 50. So we get rid of 50. And we also want to go 50p amount. So, and we plus this by one. We need to do this for every other button now. So as you can see, if, if you click the 51, it will give you 50, 100, 250, and 1000. So that's all fine. We can actually separate these out just by doing that. So it looks more visually pleasing. Next up, we need to do the timer. So I don't know where our timer has gone. Timer. We drag this in. I don't know where it's gone. There we go. Timer one. So we want it always counting up. And it's, I think we set it to every 50. So that's 20th of a second. So in here, we can do our code for actually counting up. So this is where it gets a bit tricky. We need to do some ultimate mathematics. So in here, we want to go, as we did last time, we need a timer value. The timer value... So this is an integer and it's timer count. Uh, every single time the counter adds to it. So every single time the timer ticks, we're adding one to the counter. So if you have a, uh, a thousand, if you have any of those a thousand points, um, auto clickers, we want to add a, th a thousand 
So one of those thousand point ones is going to add a point to every 20th of a second. So you can get 20 points a second. So if we want to go player points plus equals and then the amount of these points that we have. So if you have one of those thousand ones, every single time a ticket's going to add one. But now we need to have one for 500. But that happens a quarter of the time that the 1000 one do. So how do we manage that? So, so now what we can do is if timer count, so we need to figure out when the timer has ticked four times. So what we can do is we can do if and then modulus. So modulus gets us the remainder. So if timer count modulus and then since it's a quarter of the time we want it four. If that equals to zero then we want to go player points plus equals uh, 250 point amount. So if you have three of those um, clickers it's going to add three onto it every so often. And we can do this again. So we know if timer count modulus so it's half a second so it needs to happen every 10 and finally every 20 so that's our 100 amount and that's every 50 amount you could achieve the same thing by having four timers but that's more inefficient so we add this on now shouldn't let us add any So that's what we want. Finally, we can go else inside of every single time we click the button. So we can go message box dot show if you don't have enough points. And copy that else and chuck it in every single one. So if I add 50, oh, 100, 50, 1000, this is not going to work. I think the amount of points I put is a bit too low, to be honest. So you see, it should be every second to tick up. So you see, there was a bug there. So we counted to 50 and it didn't update. So we need to reset the count. Uh, we need to reset the string that tells us how many points we've got. So let's put that after we minus the amount of points, the correct amount of points. And we need to make sure our timer is ticking. Timer enabled true. So minus the correct amount of points. And we're not actually updating. In here so we're adding the right amount of points but we're not at updating the string so after we've done all of this we can then update the string so we've done every single tick you see it's ticking up every single second so now we can help this out Now we can buy a hundred one and it should tick up quite a bit faster because we're having that happens double the amount of time and that happens half the amount of time that one If I try and buy one of those, you see I don't have enough points. And we're about to get to 250. 250. This should be going even faster, as you can see. 
let's do that again. So this is a debugging stage now, so we need to play it enough to be able to understand whether there's any bugs anywhere. So those two are correct still. As you can see now, this is working perfectly fine. We can add fancy art to it, we can do all this fancy stuff, but the actual gameplay is there. Oh, well, I say gameplay very loosely in Cookie Clicker, but you can see it actually works. So if I just let this count to a thousand, we'll have the fastest uh, counter adding now. You see it's updating at a certain interval. A thousand, you can see that's the fastest. So ways to extend this, you could add more points, you could add fancy art, you could um, you could have a string that tells the player how many uh, of each one they own, uh, you could have events that change the amount that you get, so it could be, you could see a cookie fly across the screen and you could click it and it could double your points for 30 seconds, uh, the possibilities are endless. And the nice thing about having this as a counter is that as long as you use modulus, uh, it only uses the equivalent of one timer, so it's four times more efficient than having four different timers. You know, this is much better than the prototype I originally made. Uh, much better than that version I made. That original version was a bit all over the place. I mean, that's one of the great things about Visual Studio, but also one of the worst, where you can see that this is very basic compared to the one I've just built. But, and you can see in the code here, it's very basic too, but that's also a problem. So that's this episode. Uh, so, so that's the end of this episode. Um, we've created this uh, challenge yourself and try and extend this application even further than it currently is. So, uh, try and add a few other features. Um, but until. So there's different ways you could extend this, but this is the basic application. So this takes our clicker game and uses more timers, more functions, more everything. You could uh, extend it so it, it, rather than giving you an error box, if you don't have enough points, it's just disabled 24-7. It just doesn't let you do it. Um, that's an option. Um, you can make, obviously make it all pretty. Um, more options etc. So uh, that's this video. Um, tune in next time where I, we do something that I'm not sure yet because I haven't written it. So <laughs> yeah, tune in next time, subscribe, like all that YouTube stuff, and I'll see you next time.